everybody um, happy new year um, this is Robert Price um, I hope you guys had a, a really good um, last year if you didn't um, it's all good because it's a new year uh, you get a fresh start um, of course uh, you know still some things that we're all still working on still getting through but um, with the Lord's help we'll get through it okay all right so today I wanted to cover just a popular uh, praise break now, at this point, it has been done multiple times, you know, a lot, but um, I at least want to do it. It's the top of the year, you know, to God be the glory for allowing us to see a, a new year, okay? So let's get right to it. Uh, we're going to be in the key of uh, C sharp, all right? So here we go. It starts, um, a lot of times we can start on that five, right? Here you go. Now, I won't be really breaking down too much, okay? So I want you guys to see, I'm going to play it slow. All right, that's the five. Then you can start off on that A flat to, okay? Now, several ways people play it. That's why I didn't add a bass in here because some people play it differently. Uh, you can stay on that one, you know? If you have a bass player, then of course you can be up here full, right? But um, I do this little movement over the one if I have a bass player. Okay, I'll do that a lot. All right, I'll do something like, right? That's that. You still hold the C sharp. See those two? I actually talked about that inner voice and movement. I'm just moving in third. Okay, or six. You can think of. You can think like that. Okay. Okay. Now I do all of that while I'm. Okay, and then. Okay, and so what I just did, I did this to God. Okay, you can go to that three. A lot of people go to the three. Okay, now the chord, as you can see, it's like an F op minute, but I did this. Okay, a lot of us do that, especially like gospel players, right? Um, see this chord right here? I'm pretty much uh, highlighting the third. So what I'll do, you can start here. Okay, start on that G, just walk it up until you get to that A, okay, so, mm, okay, you can do it on the timing, so to God, you know, you can do that, now if you don't have a bass player, you can do this to God, you can do this, you can still do it, just hit the bass, and then, all right, all right, this right here, just playing that A flat chord, pretty much an A flat over the four, okay? So you're pretty much just playing a five over the four. Okay, so that's, okay? So that's to God be the Lord, okay? So my left hand, if you don't have a bass player, you can do, you can do that. That's just like a popular way of doing it. You can play the root and the fifth, and then you can uh, have the root again on top, all right? So, two, then, okay? So I hit this first, this A flat chord, then that's the four, right? Now, here we go. We're going to do a three six progression. We're going to do a three to the six. Okay. Now I'm doing, I'm playing these chords like this. If I had a bass player, I would probably play my six like this, but you can do it like this too. Okay. You can play your six like this. I'm going to break 
um, both of those down, okay? Just in case you don't fully understand that, all right? So we have the four. I'll, sometimes I play my four like this, okay? Just to highlight, okay? So. So. Okay, that'd be my four. Or you can just do this. Okay, the three. This is a two hand voicing right here. So if you had a bass player, this is how you would play it. So. So you see how I graced that note? Okay. All right. This is um hopefully you can you guys can at least catch on or just kind of rewind it go back okay since I'm not really doing too much breaking down all right so this is your three if you have if you don't have a bass player you can do something like this okay or see how I got my left hand that the root which is the F and then just go a fifth away and it'll be that C okay then you can double it if you want to be full you can uh, do an E flat major chord but just put that B flat on the bottom too. So you got B flat, E flat, G, and B flat. Okay. So. This is uh this is my six. You can play it like this. I'll give you a couple ways to do it. So you see how I got that B flat F and um B flat F and B? I'm only playing it like this because I really want to do this. That's what that's what I really want to do. Okay, so you see that it's pretty much like a A flat diminished, but I I play it in this inversion, and since the melody is here on that B flat, you just extend it, right? You can play it with your pinky if you want. In my left hand, I have that B flat F and A flat. Okay, so you can play it different ways. You have this. You can do it like this. Okay. All right. Or you can do it like this the first way and just do this. Since your bass player is already going to be playing that B flat. So it'll sound something like this. And then you will do. Uh, you can do something like that. Okay. That's a little bit more intermediate to advance. Right. So that's the three to the six. You can play the chord first and then, okay? So that's a pretty cool little trick, okay? So, you know, then, so this right here, you may not have time if you're gonna go to the three really quick. So, um, and then, so, that's the two, okay? So we just did three, six, two. This is the chord that I play. So. Okay. I'm going a little bit quicker because I don't want this to be a long um, video. Okay. Okay. So my two, uh, you can play your left hand up here. You can do uh, E flat, B flat, and D flat. Okay. Now, some people do it like this, two, and then, um, uh, yeah, two, you can kind of play around, you can do that also, okay, so, two, God, so you keep your left hand the same, but do this, you play that first chord, and then you can do... See how I'm playing that? That's like a C minor. But hit the chord first, then drop that C down to that B. Now, a lot of times people have probably done this. You can do, you can do this, okay? So there's a couple of ways you can play it. Um, I've heard churches play it so many ways or church bands play it so many ways. Um, so you can do, okay, go to that G. Okay, just passing more time, all right? Now I change my chord. I have that F, 
B flat, B, and E flat. But um, you could just play this. Leave that B out because a lot of times what you can do is this. You can do two, you know, add that little tension in there. Put the B down here. So that's what I do a lot of times when I go to the G. I'll do this. I start on that A, walk it up to the B flat, then to the B, right? Because you're pretty much doing this, right? So, all right. And then you can do, uh, so you have two, you can do, you know, then, or you can do this, you know? You can go straight to the five, I'm gonna give you that. If you go straight to the five, you're pretty much gonna play a one chord, which is the C sharp. You're just gonna play it in this inversion, okay? You can do this. That's the glory, okay? And just resolve it down to a regular um, A flat major chord, okay? Right? But you could, or, or you can do this. You can do, okay? You can do, um, you can still go to that G and you can do this. Okay? You can play the four, which is just a minor six, so you have, okay? This chord right here over the four. Okay, that E flat, G flat, A, and D flat. And then you can go to the five, okay? So do you hear the difference? You can just do, right? You could do that, or you can do this. Four to the five, okay? It just adds a little bit more. Um, I've even um, done this before. You can play that chord from the four. You can play the four over the five. So you can go straight to the five on your bass, but play this right here, right? Okay, so you can do that. So that whole little uh, section will sound like this too. God be the, I mean, be the glory, okay? So then you will just resolve it. You're still going to resolve it to the five, okay? So you have options. You can do, you probably could do this. You can, yep, so you can still do that over that G2. So if your bass player goes there or you want to go there, just to add a little bit more umph, you know, to that section. So, you know, you can do that. Okay. Now let's go to the. So that that little um little riff was starting at B flat. Once you once you get to that F. That's when we're gonna play a B flat major chord, right? Over the seven, which is that C. Okay? All right? It's moving kind of fast, so. Okay? Now, if you have a bass player, you can do. So you can do uh, C, G, and E flat. I mean, B flat in your left hand. And still keep that B major chord, B flat major chord in your arm um, right. So you can play it like this. Sometimes I do this. I'll play a C minor. I'll play it like a C minor chord in my left with the B flat major in my right. Okay? It just sounds pretty cool. Okay? So you can do it either way. You know? So you can do that too. You can just play the chord. Add that E flat in there on your left. But you can just do this. All right? So just double it up. Instead of just uh, doing it with one, you can do it with octaves. Okay? That's the seven. Now it's getting ready to do a three. Four. So um, if you have a bass player, you can do this. Okay? So in your left hand, you just play that, that F and E. You can do that. Um, in your right hand, you got that A, C sharp, and F, okay? If you're playing it down here, you can do that. Um, in your left hand, if you want to add a little bit more, you can do this. You can add that B, okay? 
All right, so. Then be the glue. So over my six, um, of course my left hand at B flat, F and A flat, C. Now here, some people stay on the six. Before they go to the walk up, before they do that, uh, you can stay on the six. You can do, right? So I play that F, C, and E flat. Now I do, I flip the B flat, okay? All right, so, um, okay, that's glory. Now, or you can do this, glory, okay? You can go to the two, okay? That's just circular movement. When you're on the six, you can do six to the two. I'm gonna give you that chord over the two, okay? So the same way, honestly, that, that E flat, B flat, D flat, that's your two, but you can play it like this in your right hand. So you have F, G, B flat, and D flat. Like I said, I'm going pretty fast. Um, hopefully you can kind of get it because a lot of us have already played this before. But if not, um, just rewind it if I'm going too fast, all right? And I apologize. All right, so. Okay, and then right after that we have. Okay, so this is that three, um, three, four, flat five to the five, and then flat six to the six. Um, so I'll give you those chords. Here we go. So on the three, um, it's going so fast, I'm not trying to chord with my left hand. Uh, I'm doing, you know, you know, if, if you don't have a bass player, just focus on this. Okay. So that's the first one. We on that F, which is the three. That's just your regular D, D flat major chord. Then you go to the four. All right, so of course you're on that four. If you want. <laughs> All right, so. So we got that. It's pretty much an e, e minor, E flat minor, but I'm playing it in uh, first inversion, okay? Right, so we have that G flat, B flat, E flat. What I do, I just go a, a, a half step up with my chord. Okay, so some people may play that different. Um, some people may do this. So you can do, you can do just diminished chord that E, G, B flat, and D flat, or you can do this. Just take it a half step up. Okay. Over that G, you can play that E minor chord. So you got G, B, and E. I mean G, <laughs> B, and E, all right? And then what I do, I play a C sharp major chord over the five, okay? Okay, all right? And then um, just to let you guys know, when you're playing this flat six, see the diminished chord right here? You can play this, or you can play a three, okay? So you could do this. Or you can do this. All right? It's your, you can kind of switch it. You're going to do it a lot of times, so you can just kind of... Um, See that diminished chord, that F sharp, A, C, and E flat, over that A, or the F, okay? This right here is the B minor chord, B flat minor, okay? So that's the same way I showed you guys in your left hand, if you want to chord a little bit, you know? So, so in, the, in between, I'm doing this. I broke this down in a couple of my other videos, okay? So... These right here, these three notes right here, they can really get you through, all right? That give you that, that churchy sound, all right? So I hit, I hit that D flat or C sharp twice. A flat to that B flat, okay? All right, then I hit the A flat and B flat again, okay? And that's pretty much it. That's the whole thing.
that's it. Now I did uh I did that run. So see if you can catch that. Alright. So if you can, uh, I grace it, I grace that A flat. Okay? Um to that B flat. And I can you can chord it, the B flat and that D flat, okay? So after I, after that, now I just go, I have that A flat and D flat. So F, E, um, E flat, then D flat, okay? Now that's gonna take some practice, you know, especially doing it that fast. Um, what I did. Right, then you're back to it. And then I did this, or you can do this. All right, these are just some nice runs to do it. I forgot where I placed it, but it's like this. So, oh, let me see. There we go. There we go. So I just started from that E, then walk it down to that E flat, D flat. To that B flat. So okay, after the B flat, I do D flat, E flat, then D flat. These are some nice runs. Even when you're backing up a preacher, you can, you know, you know, you know, you know. All that stuff, whatever, but um, yeah, so that's it. And then now I played it like this, you know. So just get used to playing inversions, okay? So I hope this lesson um, you know, brought some value. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Um, and keep it up with the emails, okay? I've I've been getting some emails from you guys, okay. Um, and I hope you have a great rest of the year. And I'll be talking with you guys soon.